Meta just came out with Motivo. It's a simulation tool that lets you control humanoid robots to do various motions. It even works under disturbances like wind and even random objects flying. Let's take a deeper look. If you're new to my channel, I have a website at kevinwoodrobotics.com where I have a bunch of resources on robotics and computer vision. So check it out and subscribe to learn more. So I'd like to first start off by saying I'm quite impressed where Meta has been headed. They've been focused initially with just AI and now they're diving in more and more into robotics. Lately, they just came out with a lot of the robotics hand type of AI models and now they have this humanoid robot control using reinforcement learning. They call this thing Motivo, and you can see that this is a behavioral, behavioral kind of tongue twister there, but it's a foundation model to control virtual physics-based humanoid agents. So what's nice about this is that it's physics-based. So as we'll see later on in some of our simulation that I'm going to be demoing, which is the simulation that they built, they're actually going to be feeding torques to all of these joints. You know that this model that you see here waving around probably has some mass. So there's some gravity and based on the gravity, it needs some torque to actually hold the hands up in the air. Okay, so, so a couple features of Motivo. One is they came up with the four backward representation with conditional policy regularization. So this is basically the algorithm that they're using. You could read this diagram here for more detail, which I won't dive into here. Uh, but you can see that this is what allows them to do some of their estimation for some of the different prompts that they feed in. So you can see that it works with different prompts. It, we have three categories that we will be testing with in our demo. We have the motion tracking, the post reaching, and then we also have the reward optimization. So you'll see more of what that means in terms of the differences between the three. Uh, but for now, just know that Motion tracking just means that it's going to do some continuous motion. Post reaching is going to a final pose and holding it. Just think of yoga, for example. And the reward optimization is you have some condition that you want your robot to meet, and it'll try to meet it with some rewards. And a few notes on their training. It says that the Motivo was trained on the SMPL-based humanoid simulated in the Mujoko simulator. So here you can see that as usual, after more training, the performance will get better and better. But it's pretty fun to watch some of the progression of the training over time. So you could go ahead and watch these videos here to see the progression. So they have it for the three categories that we'll be testing later on. But it's not without its limitations. Uh, the limitations, as you can see here, they show it for the three categories. I would say it's even though it's some limitations, it's not that bad. If you just look at it from a high point of view, it does still a pretty good job, just not quite perfect. And I think that's what they are trying. Like you can see right here, the final pose. It kind of it's kind of like a beginner trying to hold a ballet or dance pose here. So it's pretty good. I would give it like an 80%, but the, the main point is trying to say is that there are certain poses that it can still have trouble with. So you can see a few other examples here with pose reaching. And again, the, the left is going to be the reference pose and the right is the motive. But here you can see that standing on one leg, it's like, this, this is probably me trying to stand on one leg. So I think Motivo is doing a pretty good job. Uh, here you can see that this one is lying down. It just kind of collapses. And uh, for the reward optimization, you can see that I don't even know how someone could do this in real life. Probably some kung fu master, maybe. But you can see that in Motivo, you can't really do that. So, still so overall, I'm very impressed. But just keep note that there are some limitations that can't do everything in the world yet. All right, so now it's some um, demo time. So. You're going to go to demo. You could click on this tab up here. I've already clicked into it. But if you look over here on the right, there's a gravity tab, a wind, the wind direction, and the ball throw, which you can also do by uh, right clicking. And you can see here on the left, they have the motion, 
And you can see you could choose different motions here. If you click on pose, you could do different poses and they have a reward option. They have some examples already set up for you. And then they have this chain here, which is pretty much like different categories. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. So a uh, pretty basic one is walking. And this one is running. I think running is more interesting. This is just like any 3D type of simulation. You just drag with your left key, I mean your left mouse button, and then drag it to rotate. Uh, but here, let's take a look at what happens when we give it some wind. You can see that it's still pretty good. And if I throw some balls at it, uh, that one missed. It's pretty hard to target a moving object. Oh, yeah, it fell, but it just it stand up right away. So it's pretty good in terms of disturbance rejection, which is a pretty big part of humanoid robot control. You see a lot of times that um, people like to kick the robots and demos is to really demonstrate the disturbance rejection. But you can also pull on the body here to kind of encourage it to go in a certain direction. So that's what I just did. But let's go ahead and take a look at a few more motions. You have like jumping motion. Uh, I don't know what that was. What is it doing? Some young people pose that I don't even know what's called anymore. Um, I guess I'm not that young anymore. This one is like some handstand here. This is a stretching yoga pose. This I know. The yoga poses I know. Uh, this one is, let's see, what, what is it doing now? This one is like some triangle pose. Let's give it some wind here. Let's see how good at it at let's see how good it is at balancing. It's still not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, okay, now let's take a look at some poses now. So you can see this one is holding some pose here, but basically you can see that it does a pretty good job of getting to that final pose destination that we tell it to go to. It's pretty interesting to watch. And you can see the accuracy of all of this just means that a lot of the torque commands that is feeding it is actually achieving what it should be to get there. So I'm pretty impressed with what this can do, actually. And for the reward, you can see that there's a few different types. Uh, this one is like spin with closed arms. This one's like move backward, jump and keep left hand high. So there's a lot of different types. You could probably write your own if you want to. But overall, I would say it's pretty fun to play with. Oh, there's one more thing I didn't really adjust. is the gravity. <laughs> it's just like flying now. Or if you make the gravity super heavy, maybe you're in Jupiter. You can see that it's... Oh, I'll be interested. How, how about running when it's super high gravity? Okay. So when gravity is too high, you can see it has a bit of a trouble running. <laughs> so... I think it's only been trained in normal gravity mode. So no hyperbolic time chamber for this guy here. But it could definitely run on the moon doing some um, Michael Jackson walk probably. But yeah, go ahead and play, out, play with the demo and see what you think. But found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.